everyone! Sorry, I'm jamming to the music right now. Dude, this music is so good. Yeah, I'm Kuman. And I'm Sai. And this is Override, the show where we rethink games. And we are about to go into the boss battle! So hey, yes. hey, hey, remember? Um, it's been like five, six episodes now, I think. Remember the Cooper brothers went all the way up to the castle, Bowser's castle, and they were like, need to see this super, like, attack we have? Yeah. We're gonna find out now what that was. Oh, one. finally! Are you yeah. ready for it? So ready. See, lo so they're getting ready. They're like, hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! What do you mean, shake a leg? It's, it's funny, because, so, if this was realistic, like, we can totally, like, Mario can totally see what they're doing, but mm -hmm. because they're doing, like, the screen thing, it's like, we, the audience, don't know what they're doing. So anyway, they're like, oh, Michelle, get off! Wait, wait a minute! Like, they're, they're setting up basically, it's like, whoa! Is it like a Megazord thing? Oh, for the love of! What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! Is it like a Megazord thing? No, oh, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Are you ready, guys? So remember how I told you this level is very reminiscent of, like, classic Super Mario Brothers, like, those first levels? Mm -hmm. So check this out. We're fighting Flying Bowser! Balls, okay. Wahaha! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! Wahahaha! <laughs> the strongest and the coolest, behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser! Okay. It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you! Saving Peach? Please! Word! Watch this and weep! Okay, so this, uh, this is actually. This is not a very hard fight. This is one of my favorite fights. Like in the game, just because of the exchange that goes on. It's in comparison, like Bowser, but he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's like lame anyway, but. <laughs> lame er. Anyway, he has max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Okay. Uh, and does Bowser really look like this? I always imagine him looking, well, a lot scarier. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shade, Gumbario. Like, you know, keep it cool, man. Anyway, so this is. This is basically a retread of that very first fight in the game. Okay. So uh, you're essentially doing the same things, but now the fight's for real. So, so I have yeah. a question. Yes. He has defense one. If I do this, will I just do zero all the time? Yes. So that is useless right now. Right now, yes. You need to put him in a situation where you, you want to make sure you're doing two damage. So you can't just power balance your way to victory right now. Good, good call. So you would definitely want to go for the hammer or some item you, uh, you might have on hand. It's open with the fire flower, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's there. What is, what is this? Uh, that won't work for you. That's to make enemies run away. So, fire flower time. I love how he, like, plants it. Yes. On the, you know, <laughs> marble floor or whatever. Well, that's yeah. more like block. Uh, block concrete yeah. block. I am invincible! You're powerless before me! But yeah, I, I love how he's kind of... They, they've got like the paper mache kind of thing going on. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for Bowser, question, question, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, uh, yeah, probably want to go for your most explosive member on the team. Yeah, oh, sorry. I know you told me not to not to like give away stuff, but it's kind of hard not to yeah. get excited. No, 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 no. I, I did promise me, I, I was yeah. I would try not to give away too much of what he's supposed just, to be doing. Just let me figure it out. Anyway, myself. like there's a lot of fun and conversation going on here. He's like, you can't even touch me. It's like, dude, we've already like taken away four of your HP. You're almost halfway there. Okay. I, I love also how his head like it, like you can tell like you, even if you couldn't tell as a kid like this is not a real battle. Holy balls! Yes. Okay. So one more to go. And could you at least please defend this only one HP? Oh, ha, you're so weak. <laughs> Mario really thinks that we're King Bowser to see what's going on here. <laughs> Shh, Mario will hear us! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so it was kind of like a Megazord, like you were thinking. Anyway, so we do this. Well, it was it was kind of a Megazord, but I wasn't... It's like, oh no, that costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! So yeah, this was the thing they showed Bowser that he was having, like, an orgasmic reaction to, basically. I can see why now. Also, did you catch it? No. You, we'll see it later anyways, that's okay. Anyway, so that was actually not the fight. Clearly. Here come the Cooper Brothers. Now it's Ninja Turtle time. So this is the real fight. Okay. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this! Okay, so... Um... Do you need me to... Well, no, I will I I won't tell wanna, you. I kind of want to tattle, but I also kind of want to blow them up. Uh, your call, man. I'm not gonna say anything. 
But yeah, that's that's basically what you want to do. So they are they are they are literally like every other Koopa Troopa, except I think they they uh, they get up quicker. So you probably want to like take advantage of them as as much as possible while they're in the state. Do they like have more HP? Uh, yes, I believe they have slightly more HP than regular. Koopa so Troopa. the bounce thing will work better now, except I don't have that much of a feet. Yeah, the thing, the problem is there's four of them, and they will get up quicker, so... What you want is to, like, keep them down so they can't, like, get back up and, and hurt you. So this is Black Ninja Koopa! Black is pretty fashionable. Max HP 5, attack power 1, defend, yeah, so they have slightly more HP than regular Koopa, but they, but they work essentially the same, yeah, so it's about building up on what you already know. But if you can flip them over by jumping on enemy. Yeah. Just like a normal Koopa Troopa. Okay, so that makes sense, I guess. Yes. They're just like power. So, so, but, but what, what, what Gabori mentioned there is what we really need to be careful about is is this thing they're gonna do. So every time you give them a chance to get them back up, they do like their little formation thing. And the more people they have on the formation, the harder they can hit. So this is the what makes them actually dangerous. Is so the puzzle with this fight, I guess, is figuring out how to keep them down so they can't, like, get into formation. And, right. they, and if you've noticed, even though there's three of them, up, like, standing up right now, they need to get to formation in order. Because they're... So I want to so keep they're, the because they're, in the middle. Yes, so they're, because they're basically, like, Power Rangers. So, so they're very, like, focused on doing their thing and looking cool. Hmm. And not so much on being strategic. So you want to take advantage of that as much as possible. Um, I think for the tower... This guy's got I, four HP, so can I beat them? You could, yes. Right now, and then they just can't... No, they they will join up with green if yellow is gone. Oh, okay, so I don't want to be... Yeah, probably you want to, like, keep the situation as is. Yeah. And... Cover! There you go. Great job. But yeah. Um... I think you can finish both of them off now. No. This, oh, that's so different. Okay. The tower, you need, you need strong firepower to... Turn, uh, to take down a tower, like you figured out earlier with the bomb thing. Okay, and then one more turn to set up the tower. Yes, that might be the best choice. Oh no. At, at least you'll get both of the first ones. Oh, did I beat them all? No. Oh, okay. But they, they are falling though, so they'll need to waste a turn like getting their, getting their grip back. Okay. So at least, yeah. But now, why are could... these two not gone? Oh, because they, I think they still have one HP each. I think this one. I, I thought this one was. Oh, try it. One. Like the thing is, we don't have the health bars, but try it. I think I think he's dead. Yes, you defeated a, a yellow. So they'll need to get back up. And now, all right, they're doing formation again. And cover. So I think if you do either Cooper first or Mario first with the hammer, you can you can throw down their tower without having to waste a turn changing too long that. They need to get the action command, yes. Okay, so they're falling off. Whoa! We're going over! So if I hit them now, they'll fall off. Yes. Oh, okay. That yeah. makes And then it gives you a chance without having to change to okay. at least take advantage of that. Sort of makes sense. Yes. So they need to waste a turn now. Because they're Koopa, they're Koopa Troopas, and now you can like destroy them. Oh, but you didn't have, you don't have enough flower power. Yeah. Hmm. Should I use this and then just like and use get Cooper? them all with Cooper? Yeah. If, if there's any a time to use your items, it's definitely during in, in the boss battle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so go for it. Plus, I can do it twice. Yeah. Oh, well, well, we're. I, I think we you figure out how this battle works by now. Yeah. So, so I just want to comment like this is some of the coolest boss music. Can can we like listen to the boss music for a sec over here? This, this is really good. This, this is just yeah. like some very fun battle music. I mean, it's just like this. These things is not like a difficult boss fight as you would usually get in RPGs, but it's definitely a very fun. It's very boss, fun. boss fight. Uh, and, and it's just entertaining. Like the Cooper brothers are. I love. I love their pose. Yes, it's it's really sad that they've never brought them back in any capacity in future games because I think that they're probably one of the most memorable characters in this first Paper Mario game. It's just the Cooper brothers. I think I. I think I win. Yes, you you have defeated them. Great job, and you get thirty two star points for that. 
Woo! Nice. Great Which, job, man. You did it. You beat well, the first boss of the game. I'm, yeah. Wow! See, I told you I get better with time. Yes. Hopefully by the time we're at Bowser, so okay, so, okay, so just it check it out. Inside, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello! Somebody let us out of here! I love how like the other Boboms took the time to actually make Patch the, up the yeah. So that the Boboms can't get out of it <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's just wonderful. So yes. yes. We we did it. You did it. I did it? Yes, we, did we it. saved the first of the seven stars. Oh stars. yeah. Um remember the old man, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, and, and I'm just going to make a quick call back back to, I think it was the second episode, or, yeah. Um, they do really look like like card capture or sacred cards, if you ever watched that anime. Yeah. Yeah, so that, you, you need to grab it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that I could <laughs> I didn't know that I could move. Anyway, card capture, or whatever. <laughs> and with this, we have reached the end of chapter. That is cool. We did it. We did it. We save, and so we get the little epilogue. And so Mario and friends beat the Cooper brothers at their fortress and rescued the first star spirit. Still, six star spirits remain in prison, and they must save them as quickly as they can. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'm sorry, game. Future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach, lies in the hands of Mario and, and his, his new, new friends. Friend. You know, those guys. <laughs> their adventure has just begun. But yeah. Um, this has been a fun time. Have you been having fun? I've had so much fun. Yeah, so I think we'll see you guys in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye!